DJ, my wife told me to dedicate to you that song. Yeah, she's an amazing woman. Every time we have some challenges, she tells me, don't worry, Jesus is the answer. All the time, Jesus is the answer. One time I asked her, if Jesus is the answer, what's the question? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. It's good to be in Kenya. I'll never forget the first time I came to Kenya. I'd come to visit my friend called uh, Impasuwa Msonobari. He is a Swahili expert. I wanted him to translate some of my works in Swahili. Now, Impasuwa told me that in Kenya, Kenyans answer questions with questions. And I didn't believe him. So when the aeroplane KQ touched tough, the first Kenyan I met, I asked him, is it true that Kenyans answer questions with questions? He looked at me and said, who told you? <laughs> I gave up. Is it true? <laughs> now, Mpasua had told me to meet him at the museum. I never knew where, where the museum was. And that's how I got to know that actually, we all don't know how to give directions. I met a young boy, he was around nine years old. And I asked him, where is the museum? The boy looked at me and said, I don't know. So as I was walking back, the boy called me in the most local way. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was meant for me because I'm a VIP. Very improved peasant. So I came back knowing that maybe the boy has remembered where the museum is. Instead, he showed me his friend and said, this is my friend. Also don't know. But it's not only in Kenya. It also happens in Uganda. You ask for directions at your own risk. One time I was looking for a school uh, called Boma Primary School. And I meet this gentleman and I ask him, where is Boma Primary School? He says, ah, oh, you're looking for Boma. Very simple. You move straight. You move. You'll see a tree. When you see a tree, turn on your right and move. When you move, you'll see a black gate. When you see a black gate, know you're lost, come back. <laughs> he wasn't the only one. So uh, I successfully got lost. I looked for another gentleman. I asked him, where is Boma school? He said, oh, very simple, very simple. I was an elderly man. So he sat in the car, we drove, ooh, and he was talking a lot. I said, so I reached the point and said, where is the school? He said, don't worry. So we reached a certain junction and he said, first stop. Have you seen this junction? I said, yes, don't forget it, we go. We moved. When we reached the trading center, he said, stop here. He moved out of the car and said, you remember the other junction? That's where the school is. He wanted a lift. Now, I thought it was only Africans who never knew how to give directions. Also Indians. I met an Indian. I was looking for the central police station in Uganda. And I asked him, where is the central police station? He said, ah, looking for central police station. Ah, now what do you do? You go left, right? And then turn left, right? Turn right, right? And then you turn left, right? And then you turn right, right? I said, right. I moved left, turned right, right, turned left, right. By the time I finished, I was back to the same point where I was. I have suffered.